Yo, 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 what is up? It's good to see you here on my channel. Welcome to another new video. But hey, today is an interesting video. Why is today an interesting video is because for the last four to five years that I've been here on YouTube, both aspiring and current developers have been asking me one question. Will machine learning get so advanced to the point that can it eventually replace developers, software developers, web developers, front-end developers, back-end developers, you name it. <laughs> and for the longest time, for the last five years, my answer has always been, hell no, no, <laughs> whatever, man, you're crazy, you're crazy. But with the launch of this particular product, the question is, will this change? Well, what product are you talking about, Chris? What I'm talking about is something that is launched by GitHub, which was also invested by Microsoft, something called GitHub Copilot, which has recently launched and this, honestly, I gotta be honest, everyone, terrified me when I heard about it. I, di I didn't even know about it until a couple days ago when someone mentioned on my stream, Chris, can you check out GitHub Copilot because I feel like that's gonna replace web developers. And I'm like, what? No way. And then I went to the website. I didn't share it too much on stream, but after my stream ended, what I actually ended up doing is doing more research on it, doing more research on it, doing even more research upon more research. And I'm not gonna lie, everyone, this scared me because I started thinking right off the bat, is this it? So GitHub Copilot, what is that? GitHub Copilot, I guess you can say, is kind of like a developer's best friend because what it does for you essentially is that it pretty much codes for you. Let's just say you type something into your text editor and you say, I'm building something in regards to, let's say, let's say something simple like a nav menu or I need to build a for loop to pull up this data and et cetera, right? But when you just type that in your comment, that description, guess what it can potentially do? Build exactly that without you doing anything. You're learning a new language and you don't wanna spend all that time in documentation, use GitHub Copilot. So Chris, what is GitHub Copilot? Let's get into it right now. So GitHub Copilot, it is a tool that's powered by GPT-3, which is something that is capable of literally automatically writing code for you. For example, you know how when you go to Google Gmail, right? When you go to Gmail, you're typing out an email, you're saying, yo, um, thank you for reaching out to me for this interview. I'm really glad that I got to speak with you. And then before you even finish typing your sentence, what will it do? Gmail will type out that sentence for you. But now there's a software that does that for you, which is GitHub Copilot. That is crazy. That is absolutely insane. What makes this even that much more crazy is that all you have to do on your end it's like, for example, let's say write a function name or some comments and it will automatically write that code for you. And to be honest, though, as a programmer, I absolutely love this. I think this is amazing. Now, I don't code 24 seven like I used to, but as a up and coming developer in the past, what would have helped me more than anything is if I can just write something, maybe write a particular comment of what I'm building, just write a comment and then it will automatically predict what you need to write. That would have made life so much easier. Why? Because imagine if you no longer have to go to the Stack Overflow. Imagine if you can lessen the amount of times you go to Google to see what is the right thing to actually build. Then you know what, okay, let's just say you're not even happy with what Copilot wrote for you, right? Then what you could literally do is press a button that says next, and it'll give you the next prediction. You're not happy with that prediction, it'll give you the next prediction. It'll give you another prediction until you feel like you have what you need. Imagine not needing Stack Overflow anymore. Imagine lessening the time going Google. And I'm saying this over and over again, because as a developer, we live our life on Stack Overflow. We make a living by Googling everything we don't know because the world of tech is always changing. So why do I love this? This will save so much time and allow me to be even that much more productive. And me as a developer relations engineer, where I will write demos, where I will prepare presentations. Now, if I don't have to actually write as much code as I used to, will make my life a ton easier. So if you're wondering how GitHub Copilot was even able to create something like this, by the way, GitHub Copilot was founded by OpenAI and I'll talk more about OpenAI in a bit. But the question is again, what did GitHub Copilot even get trained on? Like what did it, what, how were they able to predict all this code that you might need and, and even make it even personable to the code base that you actually work within? So the way I can better explain this is the way I understand it. When Tesla, came out right when they created these the first car which is i think was a tesla s was a tesla s or roadster or whatever as more tesla vehicles start coming out tesla was the first to do what they're doing or first to do it successfully well and so what makes tesla more successful than many of the other smart cars out there is that tesla has data that other companies don't because they have more self-driving cars more they have more electric vehicles out in the world than any other car company which means that Tesla is collecting all these data from the millions and millions of miles that are driven every single day, which no one has. Now, how does Tesla even improve their self-driving system? 
is by people driving all the time and using that data. So then the question is, how did GitHub Copilot do this? It has been trained on source code from publicly available sources, like including code in public repos on GitHub and instead of anything that's open source and that's free out there. Because this code is public, GitHub Copilot was able to use it to build AI. By the way, how are they able to do this? By GPT-3, which is one of the most impressive, honestly, insane AI products around today. I mean, just to talk about GPT-3, all right. What is it? It's pretty much a, a huge, gigantic neural network that's been trained on over 175 billion parameters. From my research, correct me if I'm wrong, but compared to all the other artificial intelligent products that are out there that do the exact same thing, no other product has even reached close to 1 billion parameters. Not only has GitHub Copilot or GPT-3 surpassed 1 billion parameters, they've trained on over how many parameters? 175 billion parameters. <laughs> I can't even picture a billion dollars in my head. Picturing a hundred, you know what I mean? Just, just that, that 175 billion is such a big number. It's insane to just grasp, right? So to give you more details on what GPT-3 is or who even made GPT-3, who actually created GitHub Copilot, um, this was actually developed by a company named OpenAI. And now please note, OpenAI was not, was not surprisingly founded by amazing people like Elon Musk who created Tesla. <laughs> I mean, out of all people in the world who would invest in something like this, who would it be other than Elon Musk? And of course, other people are other co-founders for this actual company as well. And not even just that chat, I'm not chat, but not even just that, Microsoft alone believed in this product so much that they eventually even invested $1 billion in the company, in open AI. When? In 2019, which is just two years ago. Yeah, two years ago. So the question then is, right? The question is, why would Elon Musk create this product? Why would Microsoft eventually even invest in this? And I believe OpenAI was founded in 2015. I'm doing this from memory, everyone. But in 2019, why did Microsoft also as well invest $1 billion? I mean, one of the things you think about, and I saw this in the video on YouTube where someone said, what if Microsoft was willing to invest $1 billion into this software because developers are too expensive? I mean, just imagine over the last 10 to 20 years, how much money Microsoft is, has invested in their developers or tech companies in general, right? So like, when you think about it, <laughs> did Microsoft invest in this product because eventually this product could be sold to, to replace developers? I mean, this product is so amazing already. This product alone could save us so much time when it comes to coding in general, right? But one thing to note, GitHub Copilot has just released. It's not perfect yet, but what if the eventual goal Right? Even though GitHub Copilot isn't perfect yet, will it replace us? I mean, when think about it, the same way that Uber replaced taxis, DoorDash, uh, Uber Eats, and whatever you want to call it, replace all these other companies or just delivery drivers in general, right? Uh, Airbnb is trying to replace hotels and it has hurt the hotel industry. What if Microsoft's goal is to have all of us eventually use GitHub Copilot so that they can also use our code the way that Tesla uses the data from millions of drivers around the world, what if they want to use our code to eventually make GitHub Copilot perfect in a way where they eventually won't need us? Is that possible? <laughs> I'm not going to say it's not, okay? I'm not going to say it's not, but it, it really is. I mean, will it happen anytime soon? Hell no. And even if it did, honestly, I think that's why the goal for developers in general is to constantly hone the skills, get better, never settle, right? Always improve. But will it eventually replace us? It's possible. And the reason I'm saying that is because even on their website alone, GitHub Copilot did say that their goal is to eventually create a industry product that big companies can use. I don't know what the goal is with that. Maybe it's, for example, say you work for Amazon or AWS, and now you need a product that can help you even code even more quickly, get more products out there, make your, your software even better than ever. Um, you don't have to use Google. Maybe there's something like that for companies that they can use with that I don't know. I, I mean, I, I don't know what the bigger picture is, but what if, as everyone's asking, what if GitHub Copilot, the goal in the end, which will allow them to make bank, by the way, is to use all of our data when we use GitHub Copilot and replace us. I mean, when I think about it, 
When you think of GitHub Copilot, when it becomes open to everyone to use, what if you can't live without it the way we can't live without Google and researching and getting the stuff we need to become better developers, right? To help us solve our code. What if we get so dependent on GitHub Copilot to the point that we have to use it all the time and that gives even Microsoft and GitHub Copilot even that much more data to use so they can eventually replace what we do? It's possible, but am I scared for me? Hell no. Why am I not scared? Because technology is always changing particularly for me as a front end developer, front end developers will always be needed, but you should not let, ever allow something like this to actually stop you from pursuing a career as a developer. But more than anything, I should, I think more than anything, I think you should use this to push you more, to be better as a developer, to be better than other developers out there to make sure that you always have increasing value at whatever company you work or even creating your own company. But yeah, this is GitHub Copilot. I, I am terrified, but at the same time, I'm not. I'm more excited than anything because it will make my life easier as a developer when this is open to everyone in the world. But yeah, let me know your thoughts below. Well, anyway, yes, that's GitHub Copilot. But if y'all did like this video, I ask you, please give a like. Help me with that algorithm. Subscribe if you haven't yet. And more than anything, just say hi. <laughs> I love you all. This is Krishan. This is the life of a developer. And I look forward to sharing another video with y'all soon. Peace out.